Today is my daughter Chelsea's wedding day and we're at the Dearborn Inn in Dearborn, Michigan. And my son Bobby is going to marry beautiful Chelsea. Chelsea is a little bit stressed today, but I think it's because Bob is running a little late. <laughs> I don't know where Bob is. He's supposed to be here at 11 and he's, it's now what? 12.30 and he's still not here? Well, I woke up here, then I had to run down back back to Southgate, get, pick some pictures up that the bridesmaid wanted me to grab. And then uh, I got a text saying, what room are you in? Because the, you know, the photographers are here. So I was trying to call my buddies, tell me, hey, we're supposed to be there, you know, like six hours before we thought we were. I don't know where Bob is. <laughs> I'm just gonna drink. <laughs> and that was, you know, down here, it's not really, so it wasn't that bad. Actually, it's going very smooth for me, and um, things are happening quite nicely, and I'm very excited, um, and I can't wait. Baby, you can't hide. Don't worry about getting ready before you get here. Just get here as soon as you can. That way we can kind of get more you know, footage and pictures of all of us getting ready. I got a half gallon of Bacardi in my car. You want beer though? Bring that in and let's get like something small that we kind of sit on while we're in the room. Because then after this, we're going to the bar to get some more shots. When I first met her, they were over my house and I had to do something with shrimp, the cold shrimp. And I go, oh my God, I don't know what to do. I don't know how to fix And she come in and took over the kitchen and she prepared it and everything. I knew right then and there, she's the one. The first time I met Bob, I remember it was just before Christmas, our Christmas party, and um, he was very courteous, very polite. I just knew he was the one for Chelsea. You know I want to, want you to need me. Bob, I can't believe our day is here. I never would have guessed that a simple walk at Elizabeth Park would end up giving me the most amazing man and the most perfect little boy. Baby, I love you so very much. I'm so lucky and happy to marry you and spend the rest of our lives together. I can't believe I will be Mrs. Matter in a couple hours. Just know that I love you more than I could ever express, and I can't wait to be your wife. I love you so much. I'll see you soon right before we say I do. I love you. You and Gunnar are the best things that ever happened to me. I love you. Robert, your husband. Yeah, well, as soon as, as soon as everyone else gets here, we're gonna obviously I, we all still need to get like a little bit cleaned up because some of the guys still gotta get their hair cut. I need to get lined up, and uh, then after that, once we're ready, we're gonna go down to the bar and have some drinks. And broken, bruised by the coral of the sea. You see, she's pretty until you touch her; she'll make you bleed. Bleed for her, bleed for me, and over time I'll let the feeling fade away, the seasickness I shook to get to her. Gunner has no clue what's going on. <laughs> All he cares about is M&M's and gummy bears and Mickey Mouse. I don't think he's gonna walk down the aisle really great. <laughs> That's okay. <laughs>
anchors me to her light. A sails are set the starboard heading east. The sun shone its light on my desk. Her dress that she picked out was the third dress that she had taken home. Um, we went and picked out her first dress and she liked it and then she went in to get it sized and when she was getting it resized um, she found a different dress she fell in love with and then when she went to go pick up that one there was one other one that fit perfect that she tried on just for fun that she actually fell in love with so that was the final choice. Her mom might have seen the dress like hanging but no one has seen it on her except for myself, our friend Tegra and Chelsea. I told the lady I wanted a new dress and I had Gunner with me, and I had his little friend AJ, and they were running around the store, and the lady was like, oh, I have a perfect dress for you. It's gonna look great on you. Um, and I said, okay, let me try it on. And I tried it on, and I said, okay, I'll take it. And that was it, because I didn't, I didn't want to look around. Like, so I had two, you know, one and a half year olds running around. Anchors me to her life. Thank you, Chill. You're welcome. Aww, thank you, Dieter D. Aww. I love you. I love you too. Okay, cheers. When I first walked into the room with all the girls, uh, it just like hit me like a wave. It just crushed me. I turned into a big marshmallow. Man, it's the emotions. I'm, I'm ready to tear up right now. It was, just, it was incredible. My only daughter, uh, it was just a treasure. It was beautiful. Though it lasts for a single moment, though it lasts for only a moment, though it lasted for a single moment. I think her head is spinning. There's probably a bazillion emotions going through her head right now. I mentioned to her, I told her in a small way just to kind of try to absorb everything because it's going to go very fast. And it's a magical moment for today. Bobby is thinking, you know, I, I, I want, I want, I want this day. I want this day. I'm happy for this day, and I'm, I'm glad when today is, you know, over and we're man and wife, and this, this will be good. Definitely excited to see her for the first time when she comes out, and then uh, it's excited to get that part of the day started. I'm glad, to, I'm hoping that the weather's going to be nice, the sun's shining. When I first see Bob today, I'm going to be emotional, and... I'm just really happy. Very nice. Gunnar actually um, went with the flow and did everything he was supposed to do. Went smoothly. It was short, which is nice because it's freezing. Hi, Robert. Take thee, Chelsea. Be my wedded wife from this day forward. Hi, Chelsea. Take thee, Robert. Be my wedded husband from this day forward. They're actually a perfect couple. Um, God bless them both. They are a beautiful family. Uh, they're meant to be. just get along great, I think. And my son just seems so happy. He's always smiling, and I love Chelsea. She's really great. I have everything wonderful to say about the both of them together. Yeah, baby, we'll run away just for today and live our
dreams out loud. Well, right now we're in Dearborn and we're having the, the pictures taken after the ceremony. As you see, everyone is pretty cold and it's freezing out here, even though it has, it's pretty nice. So uh, hopefully we'll be inside soon and uh, get this party going. Not so much a tradition, it's just something I want to do right after we get married. I'm going to give them all the guys that are in my party and then uh, my dad, her dad, and the two stepdads were all in small Run away just for today and live our dreams out loud. My maid of honor, I had no question. It was my best friend Kendra. I love her. And Nadia and Brittany are my sisters. And Harley is going to be my new sister. And then I have my two crazy wild friends, Katie and Tasha, who are, they're just like my girls. things I love about Chelsea. When we first met, it's the way she smiles and looks up at you. And then we kind of, you know, real soon we had a, we had a little guy and she's like the greatest, greatest mother to our son that, you know, just couldn't ask her anything better. She, uh, this is all I think about all day. It's, you know, I go to work and she's out of my mind. And it's just, I couldn't picture or ask her a better person to be with. She's a great, great girl. Stay inside this dream. With all the stuff going on as far as the reception goes, it, it should be a good time. I mean, everyone we know and their friends are going to be here, all of our friends. Uh, there's a photo booth, so I'm sure all the girls are going to go crazy in that thing. And I just hope everyone has a good time, and it's just going to be a, a fantastic, fantastic uh, celebration. Our first dance is by Matt White and it's Love and Affection and it just, I don't know, I looked for a long time for a song and when I heard it on The Bachelor, <laughs> I was like, I like this song and Bob listened to it and we both just were like, this is it, this is our song. We're gonna stay I'm really not looking forward to that because I want to turn into another marshmallow again. <laughs>
Chelsea still has the same glow that she did the first day she met you.